Hi everyone, uh, my name is Jared Simpson and I'm joining you from uh, the town of Oma in County Tyrone, Northern Ireland. Uh, I work as a, a senior engineer for a great company called SSA Renewables. Um, I work within their onshore wind side. Um, I'm a chartered civil engineer with no formal IT qualifications and uh, I've been working with the power platform on the side for a couple of years now. Um, and I think it, it just really is a truly amazing platform. If anyone wants to connect, uh, get in touch. I've added some details at the bottom of the slide there. And um, I also have just a, a YouTube channel, which is currently empty, but I do plan to, to chart out the build of the app uh, over a few short videos in the coming days. And uh, and also I see it as um, as my way of, of starting to give something back to the community because I've, I've been learning so much over this last couple of years from from some amazing content creators, um, some of which are on this call. So thanks, thank you so much. Um, so look, without further ado, I'll uh, get on to, uh, I've got a couple of slides and then we can get stuck into a demo. So this is a game, uh, so it's called How to Feed Your Dragon, obviously, and um, it's a game all about dragons um, that love their veg. Uh, so why did I opt for a game and why this game? Well, I suppose I've been building various business applications since I started uh, properly getting into Power Apps uh, last year. And before that, it was more Power Automate, but then just last year, I really ramped up in Power Apps. Uh, and I never really tackled a game. So uh, I saw the Power Apps demo extravaganza um, come up there a few months ago, and I thought it was the perfect chance to have a stab at a game. So this is also my opportunity to to get stuck in and start to experiment and, and, and play with timers and animation and stuff like that. So so it was a, it was a great experience. Um, but essentially, it was, it was about trying something different. and. Um, where the main requirement was was fun, essentially, um, which which is a great requirement. The dragon theme uh, was suggested by my son, based on one of his favorite TV shows. Uh, and the game itself, it has uh, three um, three different games, um, each with three different levels of difficulty, and uh, and also then a leaderboard um, through in there as well. Um, the difficulty levels change the, the density of the grids and the, the various screen grabs that you see of the three games at the bottom are actually the different difficulty levels as well. So going from high to low, from left to right. Quick overview, um, just the last slide before we get into the demo. Uh, so I'll not go through all the text. That's just some blurb that, that uh, sort of tries to funnily explain the, the games. But um, essentially, the games are all about um, hand-eye coordination, speed, precision, uh, memory, and um, and the objective is really to gather as many vegetables as possible for these for these hungry dragons. So, um, in terms of a wee bit about the the back end stuff of the game, um, the key resources in the app are the media um, in the form of images and audio, uh, and these are used um, extensively throughout the game. Uh, in terms of data, uh, there's various collections that are used throughout the game uh, as part of the core expressions for each of the games, um, all of which are created from the initial call ten veg and call 10 barrels collections that you can just about um, make out there. So without further ado, let's um, get stuck into a demo and uh, hope that the, the demo gods are on our side in terms of sound. So just stand bear with me a wee second. And uh, let's give it a crack. This is the home screen, and um, uh, the main controls in this home screen are the, the three buttons which uh, take you to each of the three games. Um, and there's also then uh, a button here for the leaderboard, and then there's also difficulty levels which are set here. And in terms of the difficulty levels, um, so these are whenever I select high, mid, or low, um, this uh, sets a variable, a variable record which has various properties in the variable, which cascades right the way through the app and changes various aspects of the app via this via this one click um there's also in the leaderboard which is uh there for each of the three games um so uh it's it's not saving anywhere at the minute so um so it's at zero for now but this this will populate whenever you see me embarrass myself in, in, in a minute um and then as i say then these three buttons which take you through the games with a, a subtle animation to sort of try and draw the players attention to the actual buttons themselves as as the the main point of navigation so um, I'm going to start at high difficulty with this first game. So go veg your bets, and uh, we'll see how I, how I get on here. So this is an initial sort of introduction to the, to the game. And essentially, this will run for a few seconds, and it'll start the game automatically, or you can skip 
and, uh, and, and kick off the game uh, using the, the skip button here. And the aim of the game is really you're, you're trying to get as many veg um, into the open barrels as possible um, without splatting um, on top of the on top of the closed barrels. So it's um, it can be tricky enough to do this on a computer. It's actually a lot easier uh, on a on a, a tablet because you can you've got a touch screen and you can use two hands. Whereas now I'm moving a mouse about and my eyes are going up and down the screen because it's quite a large monitor. Um, but there's a so there, I've actually got quite a short duration for the game, only, only 25 or 30 seconds. Um, and that's my score, that's my tally there uh, in the bottom right. And that'll be taken then and it'll be used to populate the um, the scoreboard. Now, so this is back. freaking awesome! <laughs> 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 I would love to try this on a, on a tablet. Oh, thank you. It actually looks, it looks amazing on a tablet, but obviously with the, with the real high-def screen. Um, but, uh, but yeah, look, on the tablet, it really is cool, but obviously I just couldn't do that for the demo today. Um, sure. But I'll, ju I'll, just, I'll just nip down there just to give you a, an example of the, the, um, the impact that changing the difficulty has to the Veg or Bets game, first of all. So uh, skip this. And so as I say, those variables are set and it cascades in right the way down through the app, changing the, the size of your galleries, changing the size of the images within the galleries, which are responsive. Um, as well as then changing the number in the collections. Obviously, I scored nothing there because I didn't actually play the game. But it's just to sort of demonstrate um, what the what the change of these difficulties does, and just the, I suppose the the value of variables and how how amazing they are and and, and the power of them. Um, I'll go to the next game now, Tech Five. So and I'll maybe go to so I'll just go back and I'll go to mid level difficulty, which is an eight by eight grid. So this is slightly different, and this is this takes the ten. The collection of 10 images and expands it up to 100. Sorry, in this case, it's 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 not at 64. But um, so I'm taking five carts. So you're trying to just it's about speed and precision and trying to collect your five each each time. Like I only got, only got a few there because it's such a a short um, such a short time. Um, I should have set the timer definitely there. But um, so I'm picking these uh, these cucumbers. Try and squeeze two in here if I can before the timer runs out. Uh, there's 10, uh, yep, <laughs> too slow at the end. But um, so yeah, that's the, the Tech 5 game. And then the other then, um, so you can try again, obviously, or you, or you can go back and uh, pick another challenge. So for Total Recall, um, this is actually quite tricky. This is a memory game. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna try, I'm gonna go for low first of all, so I don't embarrass myself as, as a maker of the game. And uh, I'll probably still embarrass myself. Um, so I'll skip this and uh, so I'm finding five of those. So where's the five? There's one, two, three, four, five. Uh, so there, 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 there. I must have one for the crack. And there. And find five of them. Oh. Sorry, I should have I should have adjusted the, the time um, and the games. Um, but I'll just give this one another go. And I'll show you um, with the high difficulty. Um, you really need to be <laughs> on, your, on your A game here. So I'll see how this goes. So this is a 10 by 10 grid. And um, so I'm trying to find that shouldn't be too bad, he says. So five tomatoes there, 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 or there. Yeah, I got five, <laughs> just about. Um, that one's a lot trickier, actually. And it's amazing how deceiving, depending on the mix of aids that you're presented with, how deceiving it can be. Um, uh, you know, if there's a lot of greens and stuff that clash, you know, say broccoli clashes with lettuces and stuff, it can be a wee bit sort of mind bending trying to trying to spot them in, in certain instances. Um, but uh, but yeah, and um, I'll just go then just uh, one more maybe for total recall if that's if that's okay time wise. Uh, Todd. Oh yeah, you're good. Cool. Um, so I'll try um, and see. I'll maybe just uh, as well. Just give us a second. And um, I had set the runtime as, yeah, maybe I just hadn't run on start. Give that a go. So we'll give us an R blast here. So total recall, and we're going to go mid-level. And that should hopefully be a longer game now, um, unless I haven't got that variable in the in the timer for this one. but. We'll see. Okay, so five origins. Okay, so we've got there, there, there. Was it there or there or there? Over here somewhere. There we go. Broccoli. So there's 
three there. <laughs> so you're sort of trying to plot your your moves. Uh, forgot where this one is. Uh, where is it? There's one up here too. Top left. There we go. Cool. <laughs> Five of these. Um, ah, okay, so that's a, that's a duration over. Um, but yeah, look, that's that's uh, that's the game. Um, and uh, yeah, is there any questions or does anybody have anything they want to mention at this stage um, or anything you want me to explain about the game? I saw one question go by. Someone's wondering how long it took you to make it. Uh, I wasn't. I wasn't recording. Thankfully, <laughs> how much time it took. <laughs> um, to be honest, actually, whenever I started looking at this, I, I, I literally, I was thinking, I must try animation. So there's a lot of timers built in here, which take you back to the home screen automatically and stuff. So, but um, I was thinking, I must try animation, and and I literally had created this grid of a um, hundred, uh, and, and it was icons, and I set up a, like a shuffle, uh, basically shuffled, and there was like. 98 icons and then two random icons or sorry two other icons you had to match the two other icons and every time you you match the two had selected the second one it would then reshuffle things you'd have to find them again but the icons were actually rotating as well and it was really mind-bending these <laughs> all these icons rotating on the page um but that was that was the start of it uh, and that was like literally half an hour an hour just messing about but then once i started this then once i got the concept for this it started off as as a literally a barrel moving left to right I had, that was the initial game for the for the veg or bets game, and uh, and then I thought the animation was just a wee bit too jumpy, so I decided then to change to this 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 setup now of of veg sort of this disappearing at the top, reappearing at the bottom, with a slight bit of animation at the bottom, and then with like the wee speed lines that appear and then disappear through time, using timers to sort of give it, it to sort of flow better for me. But uh, basically, whenever I started and got into it, it was one game, then it became three games. So so yeah, look. Long story short, yeah, it took quite a few hours to, to make. That's really neat. And it, the, also, you have a story like Julie's kind of, right? Like you mentioned your civil engineer background. You don't come from a IT coding background and picked this up and figured it out. <laughs> and here yeah. we are, a cool game. Yeah, no, pretty much. Like it is, it's, it's amazing how powerful the Power Platform is. Like it allows people like me who have no coding experience to literally pick something up and build something like this or build a cool business app or whatever. So it is, it's, it's an amazing platform, it really is. Um, uh, yeah. So much potential. Absolutely. I see people asking if there's cheat codes for it. It makes me remember the one from Super <laughs> Contra back in the day. <laughs> um, well, I suppose that the cheat code is that you can have a, a copy of the application. So there's there's a link which we can post in the chat. And um, yeah, you can it's free to download and you can take it and you can load in your own images. And create your own game essentially, create your own theme, you know, make it about space. All you really have to do is change the images and, and make it make it your own. So yeah, um so yeah. True. Gerard, cool. I have a question I have a question for you. Did I, I see that you recently moved positions? It, is your learnings here, did that help with that or is actually was it orthogonal? Yeah, yeah, there's it's <laughs> <laughs> it's the start of September. Um, I, I'm I'm moving into. Congra the congratulations, sort of by the way. congratulations, by the way. That, that's great. Th thank, you. thanks a lot. It's it's. Um, I suppose it's just uh, we have we have a a few great teams in SSC Renewables who are doing some amazing things with the Power Platform, and um, I suppose the, uh, some of the guys saw what I was doing and basically wanted me to be a part of of, of the great movement that's happening in, in our company SSC Renewables. So I know some of the guys are on the call as well. So so hello hello folks. Um, and thanks for joining. But um, but yeah, no, it's it's great, and it's, it's it'll be amazing to, to be able to focus on the power platform and just bring my ideas and and the sort of I suppose the, the limited wisdom that I have at this stage to the to the table and, and hopefully help help the guys out. That's amazing. I, I might actually have our marketing team reach out to you because they're they're looking for some hero stories like like this and like Julie's as well. Um, so I, I may have some people reach out to you, and you, your your face may be up on stars on our blog sites. <laughs> Grant, thanks, thanks, Chuck. So you mentioned that you, um, you got your YouTube channel set up, and you're planning on recording a couple videos that kind of deep dive on the back end on how the tech works with this too, huh? Yeah, yeah. Like for me, I've I've learned so much from the likes of yourself, Todd. You know, Reza, Daniel, April, um, so many other 
people that are creating amazing content and um, I've essentially been teching and teching and teching over this last two years. So um, for starters, I'm going to put um, just a, I suppose a series of videos up on this build. Um, and then thereafter, I've got a few ideas, a few things, certain areas that I haven't really seen explored that much that I was going to try and get into. But I see it also as a way for me to try and keep up the speed with the power platform to then feed that back into my, my day job as well. So so that's the so that's the plan, but we'll see. Like obviously all these things take time and there's there's day job, there's family life, yes. there's, there's this. <laughs> so as you all know, I'm sure, but, but it is so addictive that, that, that I'll probably always find time to do something on it. So, so yeah. If there wasn't that darn day job, right? <laughs> <laughs> we would all be making apps all the time. Well, that's awesome. Thank you again for coming on and sharing it with us. And I can't wait to see what uh, other places we see this pop up in the in the future once uh, Chuck starts talking about it with his friends and Microsoft <laughs> too. Very cool. Well, thanks very much. Okay.